Hi, it's Susie. I'm back at this most beautiful place. It's Monday. I am so happy to be here and happy that you're here with me. This morning I didn't do a podcast, but I decided just to come here and um, kind of get some message out. So let me just read the intro and then I'll get right into the work. <laughs> All right, so thanks so much for joining in today and let's see what's showing up here. All right, today we begin to break down Attraction 41 questions. Question number 11 via podcast and video at YouTube channel Holistic Healing Community by Susie Jervich. Do subscribe to follow this complimentary offering of attitude into attracting your desired goal and 10 or juicy groovy new vibe. Question number 11 is, are you in gratitude? Whew. Yeah. So today, I didn't do my inspired thought. I'm in gratitude for just saying, hey, I'm going to change it up a little bit because it just was meant to be a little bit more spontaneous today. Today, I'm at the Baha'i Spiritual Center here, just south of Phoenix, and I have an appointment um, with uh, Chris at the radio station here, and just real excited to have this visit. But um, going into that question is, am I in gratitude? And I just really want to do just kind of this, just this simple um, act of being in present a moment awareness. So I'm just going to list off <laughs> things that I'm grateful for. Number one, I'm grateful for you. You know, if you're listening here, and when at any point when you're listening to this, very grateful. Um, also grateful for this fountain behind me. You know, I can hear the sounds of the water um, as it's coming down from the fountain from the frog's mouth. <laughs> It's probably some big meaning, spiritual meaning, which I'm clueless about. Anyway, I'm also really thankful for the blue skies. I mean, it's really clear here today. And um, this prayer pavilion is, is, is extremely special to me. I know when I first came here, it was a real landmark here for me. So I love this structure that I'm in. I'm also hearing some hums in the background. It might be airplanes. Definitely hearing the sounds of birds, so I'm, you know, so grateful for the birds that are here. Um, notice that, I think it's like doves mating season. <laughs> I noticed this where I live because it's like, um, seems like there's a lot of, you know, excitement and feathers and flurry and all that going on. <laughs> so I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful for... Um, my appointment today to be visiting about um, this radio station um, and this radio show that has kind of manifested via my 41 days of attracting. So I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to look like, you know. So I'm here, I'm a little bit early, and um, I don't know if you can hear those birds over there. They're just beautiful. As I'm looking forward, I see mountains. I'm grateful for the mountains. And I'm also grateful for this. Um, this place is really, really very beautifully landscaped, too. So I'm enjoying all the different colors because here it's like mostly like different shades of brown or beige or <laughs> neutral, neutral shades. So, but here there's all these different colors of, of greens and everything that I'm really loving. Um, also grateful for this morning. I had my community call with um, good friends Linda Starr and Bill Reed this morning. So uh, 6.30 a.m. I woke up, had an hour, 45-minute call, um, really checking in with my uh, affirmation or my declaration for this next quarter. So April is the beginning of a new quarter, and new affirmations were created. I'm really thankful for um, both Linda and Bill for being part of me creating just the right declaration for uh, going into this next three-month segment here. So I'm very thankful for that. And I'm also very thankful because I had a meeting yesterday at Unity Phoenix with this really interesting man. And um, this morning, I called him at 7.30. I know it was too early. <laughs> he called me last night, left a nice message, and then a text. And then I was like, well, I've got time right now. So I called, and I said, too early. And he said, well, I'm awake now. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, we had a great hour and a half um, phone call and um, did some really beautiful uh, sound healing in that phone call and some really beautiful toning that came in and really... Um, uh, really interesting activations that came in. So that felt really good and juicy, and I really, really like that. <laughs> so I'm really thankful. His name is Astarius. Astarius. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, and then I got here early for my radio show appointment, and, um, you know, just really grateful for every opportunity that comes my way. Um, as I've embarked on a different path, you know, we all change, we grow, we shift, we, you know, expand into something else, you know, whatever that's supposed to be. And so I'm here and I'm like, you know, just soaking in this energy here. I just saw Bonnie. She's, she's, um, actually here at the spiritual center and that has, she happens to live like walking distance from where I'm at. <laughs> How usual, right? You know, that all these things kind of come together. So in this present moment, I'm also kind of just observing um, the beautiful stones. So here, um, the landscaping is so different because, I mean, if you if you don't do much landscaping, it's just the sand, this like kind of desert sand. But here I'm really kind of observing that they've got... Um, some beautiful patterns here on the ground of different types of color stones and sizes of stones to really kind of um, create more of a um, kind of a pattern in the ground here. So I just noticed that. What I also love about this place too that I'm noticing are you know some really pretty benches here that are here too. You know, it wasn't to be. So in this moment of gratitude, I'm just feeling really. Um, you know, also really grateful for my body and all of the um, beautiful, uh, um, you know, just uh, feelings of youthing in my body. So some people might say that, you know, oh, God, I'm getting older and all that. <laughs> I just, um, I have this one phrase and the phrase is basically this. So um, I have like three ages. And so the first one is six. So there's the little playful six-year-old. Uh, the next one is 13. And then um, my coach told me, just stop at 33. You know, just be 33 and just hold that pattern. So I'm really, you know, embodying that and just really kind of going, yeah, I like that, you know. So as I'm looking at my body and all these different experiences with the body, I'm really in gratitude for the healing potential that I have um, to work with my body as things arise and that I notice that. And things that come up, you know, I ask more questions like what am I supposed to know what is this about what can I do how can I love myself more so I'm in gratitude for really tuning into the body and really listening um, listening with my heart you know to the answers that come through related to my body so I'm very very thankful for that very thankful for church yesterday I had a great day at church yesterday but in this moment right now I just want to really give a big um, shout of love and appreciation to those that are um, watching this right now and just know from my heart to your heart I'm just sending you just waves upon waves upon waves of gratitude into your life that whatever you're seeking to um, create or manifest or you might even be creating some things to go away to open up space for new things so I'm gonna just send um, a, like a, a precognitive awareness that your sense of gratitude is in the works right now it's completely manifesting in this moment and the, the heart's desire that's that's with you now is in in flow and in movement of creation and development so I'm just seeing everything as being perfect in your moment just as it's in mine there's cars going by it's really kind of peaceful here but I just wanted just to just give you a shout out this morning that I'm thankful for you for being part of this journey here and thankful for all the beautiful gifts that you give out into this world and I'm thankful too that when you take care of your body and your heart and then your mind you know when you fill it with 
inspirational thoughts or, you know, beautiful affirmations, just different things. I mean, that really does make a difference in our lives. And so I'm, I'm touched by the work that you are personally doing in your own life. I feel it. I know that you've got beautiful things that you're working on and that you're um, doing to enrich your own life and the lives of people around you, your family, your children, your spouse, your partner, your puppy, your fur babies. <laughs> <laughs> and even your plants, you know, I mean, just infusing all of that with so much love and gratitude. You know, as you go out and plant a seed and you, you, um, you tend to it and you talk to it and you love that seed and you watch it grow, that's how all of us are. We're simply like um, just a beginning of a thought and then we manifest into this and then there's more. So it's constantly feeding and nurturing and watering. So water is so essential. So just, you know, in a, in a metaphorical uh, way, just really watering your system, watering it and drenching it, being filled and filled with more and more liquid light into your system, drawing that in now. So thank you so much for listening this morning, wishing you a most beautiful week, and um, seeing everything in your life is, um, is, a, is a prayer of gratitude. You know, you can be a prayer of asking, or you can just say this is a prayer of gratitude. So for in this moment right now, just extending this prayer of gratitude and knowing it is so. So have a most beautiful and blessed day.